people this is Colin from cam decorations um, these kitchen units are finally completed first code days as you can see everything's been coated up I've gone real gone round and if you can see this was the sunlight but gone round and two part some little digs and dents that I've seen again the masking tape is where I've marked up the unit where, where it needs to be filled um, but this is the first coat as I said to you before in, in, previous, in the previous video that I've decided to put the kitchen drawers on top of the units paint them there and then slide them in and the reason why they're still there now is because I noticed there's still little bits of filling to do inside of where the drawer goes that needs to be rubbed down, touched up before I put the second coat on. Um, this is the base colour coat for the um, for the uh, kitchen units that are that the base kitchen units. Um, as you can see, it's not the actual proper colour yet. Um, Proper cover comes on the next coat. Um, it's getting another. It's getting two top coats. So the idea is that we give this a primer coat, and then it gets two top coats. So you're sort of starting to get the gist of what the kitchen is going to look like. And as I said, it's a lot of work. It's all in all, it's taken in total 17 hours to give this kitchen and a utility room. Um, it's first coat of paint, do it second fill and do a bit of cork in here and there. If you notice on top of these doors, all I've done was instead of like filling, I just put a bit of cork in there. The tiny little hairline cracks of cork will be sufficient enough to fill these little gaps up. Um, still needs to do a bit of corking down the sides here to fill the gaps up. Just note some gaps that need to be done after I've done the first coat. But uh, as you can see with the tape, the idea is obviously that I don't have to cut it into the uh, the wood. I can just basically put the paint on the tape, not worry about it, just paint it real fast to gather up some speed. And if you have a look, I'm gonna lift a bit. You can see, it's gonna give you a perfect line. But, that's the first coat of the units. As I say, this is the kitchen island. This is base coat. Um, we're going to start the second coat today. Um, I'm going to go into the utility room now to show you what's in there. Right, as you say, I'm in the utility room now. Exactly the same process. We've gone through, um, giving it first coat. Build up where I personally think it needs a bit more filler on it. Um, as you say, it's all taped up so I can go around quicker rather than trying to cut it in because there is certain places where I haven't actually um, put the tape down for some reason so I've ended up cutting it in and it's just taken so much more time and I can't believe that someone would go through and do these units like this and not tape it up and try to cut it in on three coats it would just take so long but as you can see this is the tumble dryer I've had to paint the door edge get it all inside there a bit of filling up there so yeah it's it takes time I've got a little mist down there just open up the washing machine so I've got to make sure I pick that up when I go around and do the touching up the homeowner says don't worry between the, about the gap in there because it's really hard to take the machine so it'd be I could get a fix in there to get that gap but he says don't worry about it he says uh, you won't be able to see so he's more worried about this edge so I've got to make sure to paint that if you've noticed there um, I've just missed this little edge here so I've got to make sure I pick that up when I go around and touch up so the art is you've got to get misses because there's so much work you will get misses. The idea is that when you notice the misses, that you do pick them up. You know, you have to self-check your work. 
otherwise you will not get it all. It's impossible, you will not be able to get everything. And as you say, the idea is to get it 100%, but the only way you get it 100% is to go back and check again over and make sure you get it all. So, so the idea today, as I said, I'm going to be concentrating on this kitchen island. The homeowner is looking forward to actually getting the top coat on. So that's the colour it should be. And this is the base colour at the moment. Now, the idea obviously is that um, sometimes getting the same colour as the top coat doesn't always cover. Doesn't always cover. And this is why they have gone for this colour, because it will cover better on this than it would do if you actually was matching this colour base coat and top coat as well so um, it's just one of those it's, it's um yeah it's just one of those so the idea today is that this ironing is going to get rubbed down going to tack cough it off dust it off tack cough it off touch up um uh, going to get this unit rubbed down touched up Tack cloth off, give it a second coat, just like with this ironing, and we've got to get the kitchen utility, we've got to get the utility room, we've got to get that rubbed down, touched up, and tack cloth and touched up. And let me just show you what I mean by tack cloth. I, I don't know. I don't think a lot of guys know this, but there we go. So the idea of these tack cloths is that you um you rub down your area, dust it off. Now this tack cloth picks up any minute bits of dust that's laying on the surface. It will literally get rid of all that dust. So even though you dust it off, there's still slight bits of dust on there. And because we're looking for a top end, high end finish from the unit, we want everything cough. So what we do, this cloth here is like slightly sticky and it's able to pick up all the dust. So that's the idea of the tack cloth. Now, it takes a little bit longer, but obviously the type of work I'm doing is worth it and the finish will be worth it as well. So that is my agenda today. It's a hell of a lot of work. It's a Saturday. Um, so I've got lots of work to do.